sports coverage you can count on. Week 15 of the high school football season, we are in the quarterfinals of the state playoffs in Georgia and South Carolina. Seven area teams still alive chasing state championships. The only home team was Jefferson County hosting Rockmark, the Georgia 2A quarterfinals. Winner of this could meet Waco in the semifinals. We'll show you that game next. Yellow Jackets averaging 47 per game this season, already up 14 nothing in the second when Dylan Bailey hooks up with Juke Boozer. Definitely on the all time all name team. Six more for Rockmart made a 21 nothing. Warriors get on the board and soon possession Jaden Jenkins. Border Bowl and Georgia Southern bound, but not before punching in his 30th rushing score of the year. Pulls Jefferson County back within 14 21 7. But just before the half, the Yellow Jackets strike again. Bailey, thrown for more than 1,200 yards, finds Zabrian Watley, made it 28 7. Rockmart picks up where it left off in the third quarter. More scoring. A great season for Jefferson County ends in the quarterfinals 48 13. Bottom half of that bracket I told you about Washington County on the road against Callaway. Early in the first, Callaway's defense coming up big. Jalen Shepard forced to fumble on the second play of the game, and on the next drive, Dee Bonner gets the interception to get the Cavs going. Ensuing drive early in the second. Demarcus Coleman. He's going to find Marcus Mormon on the crossing route. That's not it. After a Washington County touchdown, Coleman fires it deep and finds it in. That is not that play. Here we go. After Washington County touchdown, Coleman goes deep, finds Jacob Freeman. That is a 60-yard touchdown and a little pose to go with it. Made it 14-7 Callaway at that point. Callaway cruises over Washington County tonight, 35-20 to the final. In South Carolina, Class 4A quarterfinals. North Augusta on the road against a high-powered Hartsfield team. First quarter, Clemson commit to Monte Capehart with a stick in the backfield for Hartsville. Big play for the Foxes. Then on special teams, Justin Abraham blocking the punt for Hartsville. They take over on the one-yard line. Very next play, Tyon Evans goes in to make it 7-0. Favor of Hartsville. Second quarter again, it's Evans. Again, he keeps it himself around the left side to the house. That made it 15-0. Hartsville crushes North Augusta tonight. 35-0 to nothing, the final. Barnwell, the bottom half of the 2A bracket on the road against Timberland. Craig Pender trying for something, but gets stuffed. Timberland's Daquan Gleason makes him stop, and then the Warhorses get going. Pender rolls right fives to Khalil Johnson. Takes off, stopped just sort of the goal line. They ruled him down before the fumble later on. Pender dropping back, finds Brandon Harvey Jr. for the tutty. Barnwell quickly taking the lead over the Wolves. Timberland now back to punt. Oh, wait, no, they're not. A little fake. They dump it off to Dakari Win, but it falls incomplete. So Barnwell ball again, and Pender again going to find Khalil Johnson. And again, he gets close, but would just be stopped short of the end zone. But it wasn't a problem. Dalion Creech would finish that run off. And the War Horses, third straight year going to the lower state championship. The semifinals, essentially, they win 35-6. They will host Carver's Bay next week. All right, Carver's Bay, speaking of. Taking on Bamberg Earhart, so this one, obvious, the winner would take on Barnwell. Fourth quarter, less than eight to go. Carver's Bay down 7-2. Janez Sumter going to roll the right, cuts back left, throws a long ball, and finds Stefan Green in the end zone. Bears take the 8-7 lead after a costly missed extra point. Bamberg Earhart gets a short touchdown run with 2.32 left in the fourth, but Carver's Bay going to answer 30 seconds later. Sumter finds Green again for another long touchdown pass. Bears actually go for two and miss after a Red Raider penalty, so we go to overtime. Tied at 14. Bamberg Earhart with the ball. They get another short touchdown run. A.J. Williams makes it 21-14 on the QB sneak. Carver's Bay, their turn now. Sumter doing a lot more. Scrambles again. He would find Green in the end zone for the third time. Carver's Bay makes it 21-20, and they're going to go for two for the win. So this is the play to decide the season for both teams, and we already know how it turns out because Bamberg Earhart has a tremendous season come to an end. Carver's Bay gets the win in overtime, 22-21. Saluda on the road against Southside Christian. Top half of that 2A bracket. Southside Christian, one of the best teams in the state. They give it to Mallory Pinckney, and he's gone. The Sabres take a 7-0 lead. Back comes Saluda. Noah Bell going to the air, but a bad break here. Goes off the receiver's hands, into the hands of J.R. Schroeder for the pick. And the Sabres capitalize. J.W. Hertzberg going to find Lucas Raber for the touchdown. Saluda would get on the board late, but they fall 
to 21. And real quick, Wagner Sally, their historic season would come to an end as well. They fall 37-17 to Lamar in Class A. Lamar, the number one team in Class A. Congrats to them. And another quick final score, Edmund Burke falls to Terrell Academy. And we will be right back after this.